If you are an insurance agent or team member, then I know that the number one objection that you hear every single day is people saying, hey, I'm too busy right now. I don't have time to get a quote. If you're making outbound calls, then I know for certain that this objection comes up multiple times a day. So how do you overcome that objection? In this video, I'll show you the exact script on how to do so. One thing that you do have to recognize though, is that this objection, as well as most opening objections, are not even real objections. They're just reactionary defensive responses or RDRs. It's a reflex that people respond in that way where they say, hey, I'm too busy right now. They say that without actually thinking about what, what they're saying. It's kind of like when you walk into a retail store and uh, someone comes up to you and they say, hey, how can I help you? And you say, oh, I'm just looking. When in fact, you're coming into the store to buy a very specific item, but your natural reaction was, hey, I'm just looking. This is the same thing. And that's how most objections are when you're calling any type of lead. They'll say, I'm too busy right now. So how do you overcome that objection? How do you overcome a reactionary defensive response? There's two steps. You agree and acknowledge with them, and then you get right back into the script. Here's how you do that in action. You agree and acknowledge and you say, oh, I'm so sorry to have caught you at a bad time. You're acknowledging and agreeing and you're saying, when would be a better time for us to connect? Later this afternoon or tomorrow? You're giving them two options. And they say, ah, call me back tomorrow. You say, perfect. I have you set for tomorrow. And then you say, this is key. You pause for just a split second and you say, now real quick before I let you go, I was looking at the quote that I've started for you and I wanted to ask, and then you get back into the script wherever you left off. So if, if the next question in line was, how much is Geico charging you? Or it looks like you and Jennifer are both listed as drivers, then that's the next question you ask. So you say, now real quick before I let you go, I was looking at the quote that I've started for you and I wanted to ask, how much is Geico charging you every month for your insurance? $175? Really? That's for two cars? Wow, that's interesting. Well, I have a quote started for you here and I'll share the price with you in just one moment and you carry on with the script as though they never gave you that objection. And what you'll find is that in most cases, they'll let you go through the whole script without bringing up that objection again. Because remember, it was just a reflex to begin with. If they were really that busy, they wouldn't have picked up the phone in the first place. However, if they do come back the second time and they say, Actually, no, 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 Vlad, I am really busy. I'm about to walk into a meeting or I was expecting someone else to call. That's why I picked up. Then you have to respect that. Don't try to pressure and bulldoze yourself through that through the conversation. Stop right there and say, I totally understand and respect that. I'll call you back tomorrow. And then you call them back at the time that you said you would. So I don't want to get off with a wrong start. So that's why I'll respect their request and call them back at a later time. But what you'll find in most cases, they won't even come back the second time and give you that objection again. Uh, there are so many instances where I was working with brand new team members who's never sold anything before and I was going over the script with them and they would call, hear that objection, use this script, and they were able to get to the end of the call. They were able to overcome that objection. So this method works. You just have to memorize it and not read it off a script. Memorize this objection. Now. There are other objections that can, can come up when you first call. And tell me if any of these look familiar to you. You might call someone and they say, wait, who's this? Why are you calling me? Or I'm too busy. I don't have time to talk, which is what we just went over. Or they might say, hey, I didn't request a quote. Not sure why you're calling me. Or, hey, I'm not interested. Take me off your list. Or I already have insurance. I just renewed or paid for my insurance. Or I signed up with a different company. Or they might ask you, how do you have my information? Or they might say, I never worked with you. Why are you calling me? Or they might say, my spouse takes care of the bill. Or I had a bad experience with your company. Or there might, they might be okay with getting a quote, but they'll say, give me your price first. Or no one can beat my rates. And finally, you called the wrong number. All 15 objections you probably have heard if you've made outbound calls and selling insurance. Each one of those objections we cover in detail in the six step script to the one call close. So not only are the scripts and the rebuttals written down on paper, but I also covered them in a video training just like this. 
So if you want to learn how to overcome each and every one of these opening objections, as well as closing objections, when you get to the end of the call and someone says, that sounds good, but let me think about it. Or let me talk to my spouse or let me call my agent and talk to him or her first. If you want to learn how to overcome opening objections and closing objections and the entire script, the six step script from start to finish, then you can do that by enrolling in the one call close masterclass. What is the one call close masterclass? Well, simply put the one call close masterclass is the most powerful sales training for insurance agents, period. There's not another training out there that is this detailed and this comprehensive. Let me explain to you what you get when you get the One Call Close Masterclass. Now, there's more information about this below this video so you can learn more. But in summary, you get the six step script, the One Call Close, the written version and the video training. You also get the ultimate insurance referral program. Now, for me as one producer, I was writing over 150 policies month after month after month by my ninth month as a producer. So in my ninth month as a producer, that was the first time that I wrote 150 policies. And every month after, I continue to stay at that pace because I had my sales script and referral program dialed in. Now, additionally, with the One Call Close Masterclass, you're going to learn how to follow up with leads. That's what you get with the lead follow-up blueprints so that you know how to get people on the phone. I know that one of the hardest parts in the job is simply getting people to answer their phone. And that's what we'll cover in the lead follow blueprint on how to call people, how to leave the right voicemails so people return your call. And then the fourth and final part is the daily structure and team accountability. If you want to write over 100 policies per month as a single producer, which there are plenty of people around this country that do that, you have to structure your day and be intentional with what you do the first part of the day, second part, and the end of the day. There's a system that you have to follow. So that's what we cover in the daily structure and team accountability. So if you're interested in enrolling in the One Call Close Masterclass, there's a link below this video that you can click on and enroll into the masterclass. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Stay tuned for more. See you soon.